The Brady Bunch, a beloved TV series from 1969, has etched its place in the annals of television history. Its enduring qualities, such as its wholesome family themes and relatable characters, continue to make it an everlasting symbol of the industry. One of the classic Hollywood actors in the series was Robert Reed, whose portrayal of Mike Brady remains a favorite for many. Now, we'd like to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to the Brady Bunch? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Setting the stage for some random facts about the show, did you know that the iconic Brady house used in the series was a real residence in North Hollywood, and it became a popular tourist attraction? It's an interesting glimpse into the show's impact on pop culture. The Brady Bunch, a beloved American TV series that first aired in 1969, is a classic example of wholesome family sitcoms. Created by Sherwood Schwartz, the show originated from his desire to depict a blended family, a subject relatively unexplored on television at the time. The series revolves around the Brady family, formed by the marriage of widowed parents, Mike and Carol Brady. With three children each from their previous marriages, the Brady Bunch navigates the trials and tribulations of family life. The iconic characters include Greg, Marsha, Peter, Jan, Bobby, and Cindy, along with the housekeeper, Alice. The show's unique style blended humor, life lessons, and catchy musical sequences, like the famous opening credits. Despite mixed critical reception during its initial run, the Brady Bunch has left an enduring legacy, becoming a pop culture phenomenon. Its influence can be seen in countless parodies, spin-offs, and even a series of successful TV movies. The Brady family's memorable home and catchphrases like Marsha, Marsha, Marsha have etched themselves into the cultural lexicon. This light-hearted, heartwarming series continues to captivate audiences of all ages, solidifying its status as a timeless classic. The Brady Bunch, a 1969 TV series, holds a unique place in television history. One interesting fact about the show is that it was the first television series created and produced by Paramount Studios. This studio was primarily known for making movies, not TV shows. Before the Brady Bunch, Paramount had acquired existing shows like Star Trek and Bonanza through the purchase of DeZillu Productions. This move into TV production marked a significant shift for the studio. The Brady Bunch, known for its iconic blended family and catchy theme song, remains a beloved part of American pop culture. This fact about its production origin sheds light on the show's historical significance. It paved the way for more television ventures by Paramount Studios, leaving an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. In 1969, the TV series The Brady Bunch made its debut, leaving a lasting mark on American pop culture. The show, created by Sherwood Schwartz, brought to life the story of a blended family. Here's an interesting fact. Sherwood Schwartz claimed that Robert Reed, who played the role of Mike Brady, initially worked on the show as a result of a contractual obligation with Paramount. He had been considered for other projects by Paramount, such as a sitcom based on Barefoot in the Park and a TV adaptation of the movie Houseboat, but neither of these came to fruition. Consequently, Reed had no choice but to accept the role of Mike Brady, which ultimately became one of his most iconic roles. The show's premise was unique for its time, revolving around the Brady family, which consisted of a widow with three daughters, and a widower with three sons coming together to form a blended family. The challenges and adventures they faced as they navigated this new family dynamic resonated with audiences, making the Brady Bunch a beloved series that continues to be cherished by fans to this day. Sherwood Schwartz's approach to the show was to draw inspiration from real-life experiences, both from the cast and the characters themselves. For instance, conflicts between the Brady kids on screen often mirrored real-life disputes among the cast members. Similarly, the character traits of the children were crafted around the actor's own personalities. This blend of reality and fiction added depth to the show's characters and storylines. Despite initial skepticism from some networks, The Brady Bunch found its home on ABC, where it became a hit series. The show's enduring popularity has led to spin-offs, reunions, and a special place in the hearts of viewers who continue to enjoy The Brady Family's timeless adventures. And that's a glimpse into the fascinating history of The Brady Bunch, a show that brought a unique family dynamic to television screens and left an indelible mark in the world of classic television.
The Brady Bunch, a 1969 TV series, is sometimes believed to be the first to show a married couple sleeping in the same bed together. However, it is at least the seventh show to do so. The previous series that depicted a married couple sharing a bed include Mary Kay and Johnny, The Adventures of Ozzy, and Harriet, The Flintstones, The Munsters, Bewitched, and Green Acres. This fact about the Brady Bunch's portrayal of a married couple's sleeping arrangements is noteworthy in the context of television history. It reflects the changing social norms of the time and how television was beginning to push boundaries in its portrayal of married life. The Brady Bunch, although not the first, made its mark on the cultural landscape and continues to be a beloved show remembered for its depiction of the blended Brady family. In 2012, there were attempts to reboot the series, with actor Vince Vaughn working alongside the series creator Sherwood Schwartz. However, this reboot project did not come to fruition. These aspects provide an interesting perspective on the impact and history of The Brady Bunch as a TV series. A house used for exterior shots in the Brady Bunch is located at 11222 Dilling Street, Studio City, California. The owners have since erected an iron fence, allowed heavy shrubbery to grow, and refused the use of the house for subsequent films in the 1990s. The interior set of the show appeared in other series like Mannix, Hawaii Five-O, Mission, Impossible, and Bug. In August 2018, the Brady's house in Los Angeles was put up for sale for $1.88 million. HGTV purchased it and remodeled it during a very Brady renovation, with appearances from the actors who played the Brady children. That's some interesting trivia about the iconic 1969 TV series, The Brady Bunch. The major sponsors during the earlier episodes of the 1969 TV series The Brady Bunch were Cheerios Cereal and Maddle Toys. These companies helped support the show, which followed the adventures of the Brady family. The sponsorship by Cheerios and Maddle was an integral part of the show's success, as it provided financial backing for its production. This allowed the Brady Bunch to air and become the iconic series that many remember today. The show featured a cast that included several young actors, and interestingly, most of them had braces on the show at one point or another. Susan Olsen, Maureen McCormick, Eve Plum, and Mike Luckenland all had braces as part of their characters on the show. In fact, there was even an episode titled The Brady Bunch, Brace Yourself, which focused on Marsha Brady getting braces. This unique aspect of the show added a relatable and humorous element to the characters, making them more endearing to the audience. While the cast of The Brady Bunch is now iconic, it's intriguing to note that Jeffrey Hunter lauded the series creator, Sherwood Schwartz, for the role of Mike Brady. However, the network rejected him because they thought he was too handsome for the part. In contrast, Lloyd Schwartz, Sherwood's son, has said in interviews that he believed Robert Reed, who ultimately played Mike Brady, was inappropriate for the role because his head was too small. This behind-the-scenes insight showcases the casting decisions and challenges faced during the show's development. In conclusion, The Brady Bunch was not only a beloved family TV series, but also a platform for unique sponsorship, relatable character experiences like braces, and interesting casting dynamics. These aspects contributed to the show's enduring popularity and its place in television history. As we journey back to the iconic year of 1969, we unearth the timeless gem that is the Brady Bunch. This beloved TV series captured the hearts of many, and its enduring appeal continues to bridge generations, evoking cherished memories, and forging connections across time. The Brady family, with their quirky personalities and iconic split-screen moments, gave us a glimpse into a harmonious, albeit slightly chaotic, vision of family life. Whether you watched it during its original airing, through reruns or discovered it anew, there's something undeniably special about the way this show resonates with each of us. Now, I invite you to take a moment and reflect on your personal connection with the Brady Bunch. What are the moments, characters, or episodes that left an indelible mark on your heart? Did you admire the wisdom of Mike and the wholesome wisdom of Carol? Or perhaps you found a kindred spirit in one of the Brady kids. Whatever your experience, we'd love to hear your thoughts, your stories, and your favorite memories. After all, it's the shared experiences and memories that make this show an enduring classic. So, whether you're a longtime fan or a recent enthusiast, share your thoughts and let's keep the spirit of the Brady family alive.
Your stories and recollections are the threads that weave the legacy of this remarkable show through time. Thank you for taking this nostalgic trip with us and for sharing your thoughts and memories about the Brady Bunch. We appreciate your time and interest in this timeless TV series. Keep the memories alive and let's celebrate the Brady family's enduring legacy together.